Hi guys, I want to show you the results or the um, aftermath of um, butchering this uh, 15 or 16 year old fig tree which I did back in winter. As you can see here, all is well, it's coming back. I'm making this video to give you um, an assurance that when you butcher trees real hard against all the mainstream advice that uh, all is well it will mean that you're gonna miss out on one season season of um, fruit but that's the um, the trade-off for uh, removing half the tree which is what I did here on this brown turkey variety see that but now in the last few days it's showing that it's um, not only still alive but it's ready to to get back into you know action so I'm gonna document these things because they're very important <clears throat> because we have a lot of naysayers out there or so-called um, untested opinions look at that do I care that I'm gonna miss out on this summer's figs on this brown turkey no not if I have seven other or eight other fig trees I don't care at all so this got a a butchering and all is well and now I can uh, reach the, the tree next year when it grows up high and put a net I can net it I can reach before this before this butchering <coughs> the tree would reach it would go higher than those eaves of the neighbor's house see those eaves how am I gonna put a net a, a net netting that high see that that's where it is now and that's where it used to be basically above this orange way above that orange it's hard work guys putting a net up there <clears throat> okay I'm not a I'm not a kangaroo to jump over the tree and put a net on there so I just want to let you not only know but to see with your own eyes that the tree is not gonna die it's not gonna die no matter what they tell you because they're all words right I'm showing you I'm not only telling you I'm showing you that you can go ahead and uh, go berserk with a chainsaw if uh, you have a plan to reduce the tree height same with my apple trees here I did those in winter as well and when I say winter again we have to play with both calendars because of our audience in um, the northern hemisphere for them winter is coming up for us winter has just finished so when I say winter guys I'm talking about June July August okay I butchered this apple tree back in uh, July which is your summer and look look at this look at that yeah I'm gonna miss out on apples for one season I don't care I don't care guys it's a trade-off I reduced this tree by exactly half half I got rid of half the tree and you saw it I'm gonna, I'm gonna post a link to that video look at that it's even shooting out from the bottom okay apple at the apple massacre of winter 2020 not a problem 
I'm gonna have a new tree in uh, 2021 that won't be up there where I can't reach it was a killer trying to get the net on there every summer every summer to keep the birds away from the fruit it's all about the birds guys we have bird problems here I don't know about you um, Eri I don't know how you keep those Barbados cherries unnetted I don't know how you do it either the wildlife in Florida is extinct <laughs> or they're colorblind they can't see red this is my other apple tree the granny smith and also coming back not only coming back it's trying to fruit which i don't think it's gonna succeed right and i don't care if it does or not i don't mind missing out on one season of apples but as you can see guys The tree is not only alive, it's uh, shooting back, shooting back with a vengeance, okay? This is documented evidence that what I did was not uh, out of step, out of... Um, what do you call it? Out of line. Not at all. By the way, look at my uh, kiwi flowers. I can't wait to show you this coming up. So, apple one. And apple too. Not a problem. Doesn't look like much, but trust me, by the end of summer, that is February, February, you won't be able to see the, you won't be able to see the tree. It'll just be full of uh, branches and leaves and so on. And the same here with my lemon tree. You've seen this already but I want to put it in this video because it plays a major part in what this video is pointing to look look at all the shoots that have come back I butchered this just as hard as I did the apple trees back in summer last year summer last year not last year this year <laughs> okay our summers crisscross over the previous and the following year December and January summer right so I butchered this back in March this year, which was at the end of summer. And look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Healthy, 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 happy, healthy and happy. Not a problem. So take note. I want you to take note. that you can go as hard as you like on these uh, established trees. We're talking established now, right? Trees that are over 10 years old. The trees I've shown you have all been over 10 years old. We're not talking something like this jackfruit here. So when we say tree, there's um, a perspective involved, right? Another tree that I butchered really hard was this uh, plum tree in August, at the end of winter. As I told you, <clears throat> with the apple trees, you won't be able to see the, the trunk or the branches. Well, with the apple you can still see them. But check out this plum. I literally took off everything, everything above my head. Anything above my head, which is right here, right? Look, where are we? See that? All around. I went all around with a chainsaw 
and I removed everything, everything, everything in uh, August. All around, without reservation. And now you can't even see those branches. They're completely covered with new growth that came in uh, the last two months. Since September. Look. Check it out. Again, this is a 18-year-old um, tree. Okay? Do not let anyone tell you that you can't butcher your fruit tree. And not only that, guys, not only that, it's got a full fruit set. Look, plums, not as many as last year, but um, adequate. Considering I removed almost half the tree, I got rid of about, that would have been about 35 to 40% of the tree in one hour or less than an hour. I removed 40% of the tree and I'm still getting fruit. Tree didn't die. Tree's rewarding me. It's rewarding me and it'll reward you too when you butcher it. Now I can reach. I can reach the fruit by putting a net on it. I can easily throw a net on this tree now. Before it was a uh, hellish um, task. I also, well, not really butchered, but pruned hard this cherry, this cherry tree here. And now I can easily throw a net on that too. Right? Look at it. You can't even see the branches. This was completely naked four weeks ago. Completely naked. There was no leaves on it at the end of September. And now look. Now look guys, at this cherry tree, conventional cherry we're talking, not Barbados cherry, and we're still going to get fruit of course, not much, it's a small crop this year, but I'm getting this problem, hmm, aphids, aphid infestation, that has nothing to do with my pruning by the way, it's all over, look at that, I just let, let it go naturally, I don't deal with it. I'm not going to sit here and deal with every single leaf, right? But I've never seen it like this before. First time on the cherry tree. And this little cherry tree here, an infestation of uh, aphids. Like the aphids from another planet. So many. Never seen it like that before. Yep. Welcome to um, another part of gardening, which is uh, the downside, having to deal with all these bugs. It's getting worse and worse every year, by the way, not better. And this is the traditional green fig, the Genoa, and also this. Could not be seen only um, a month ago the first leaves were coming in September and look at it now it's like wow where's the tree all I see are leaves right all you see are leaves because it bounced back from the heavy prune I gave it amazing Every year I do this to the figs, every year, have to. In the beginning, I didn't know anything about pruning, like 20 years ago. And I just used to let them grow wild. Yeah, let's go as high as we want, up and up and up over the power line and up and up and up and up until we were at 15, 16 feet. 
big mistake. Big mistake. But it's the best way to learn, guys. The best way to learn. Perfect height for a fig tree in an urban garden like this is this height here, which is exactly two and a half meters around um, seven and a half feet yep within the tips of my fingers that's it i don't need a ladder just throw the net over it if i want to net it and i can reach every single fruit every single fig with my fingers see that not uh, the way i used to do it 16 feet up there come on come on come on come on come on unless i want to Give away every every uh, fig to the birds. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. And of course, it wouldn't be a complete video if I didn't include the white chatut, white Pakistan mulberry. Guys, the ultimate butchering. <laughs> the ultimate butchering told you guys back in July August with the trunk this is not over 10 years old it's actually close to 10 years it's been here for six years I bought it when it was around two years so yeah it's about eight but uh, it might as well be 18 the trunk is thicker than um, the trees that are 18 years old in the back so yeah um, Guys, look at this. Look at this jungle that's grown back since I pruned it. Where do, I, where, where do I even start with this? I had to do it. Not because it's a good idea. I had to. And the reason I had to, other than reaching for the fruit, is the tree was reaching for these three lines. One is power line, one is phone line, and one is cable, cable um, TV. So every single year, well, for the last five years, <clears throat> it was attempting to grow not only up to the power lines, but through the power lines, through them. Are you kidding me or what? What a risk to take. Some people do it. I've seen houses down the street where they have power lines growing through their palm trees and you know how palm trees can have razor sharp um, dry branches crazy so anyway guys I have to do this every year to this uh, white chatut every year I have to butcher it every year so if you go if you want to um, if you're planning to grow this tree Here's a dead branch. If you're planning to, to grow the, the white chatut, don't plant it below power lines like I did. And don't plant it near a water pipe, which I didn't do, thankfully. The water pipe's over there, underneath those pots. So that's a good three meters away, plenty. Yeah, so that's the video, guys, regarding butchering, pruning, risking, not worrying, um, evidence-based, and all the rest. There's a few mulberries here, too. I ate a couple the other day. These aren't ready. So I got a bonus of a few chatuts oops, um, for my efforts. <sighs> Let's see if this one looks sweet. Yep, that looks fine. Hmm, sweet. Sometimes I fall. Okay, guys. This is a video for anyone in the future to look back on whether it's safe to butcher their, their uh, fruit trees for whatever reason. You heard the reasons I had. Your reasons might vary. Thanks for watching and we'll see you from the next video.